Easy peasy, huh? Yeah. You, go, you see the bald eagle fly out in front of you? Huh? You see the bald eagle fly down in front of you? I did. I miss that. Yeah. I was too busy to get killed in the water. So you were. I miss that. Let's pull over right here. Back, right? So back on the river today with me. <laughs> back on the river today with Steve. And we're looking for some shells. Uh, we're in a pretty good area here. I'd found a couple a few days ago. And we've been hunting around now for about 15, 20 minutes. And I already found a nice fragment and a fuse. I'll show you those right now. This is a fuse out of a Civil War shell. I believe that's a shankle, but I could be wrong. That's brass. Okay, a really nice signal. This is a fragment I just found. This is out of a 12-pound Borman round ball. This little area right here is called an underplug, and that's part of the fuse system. That's a pretty neat find there in itself. So I'm very hopeful we'll come up with some more stuff. If we do, we'll do some underwater video. What there's you get? A there's a sinker. Sinker? Yeah. New and new sinker or old mine. sinker? I don't know what that big old brass. Um, yeah, that's junk. Junk. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's usually what I find. Well, <laughs> the day junk still, so. Hey, yeah. We'll get you. Let's see if we hear it down there. Huh? Can you hear anything? Oh my God, I my earphones. I take them off. <laughs> All excited, aren't you? Crazy. Yeah, that's what it does. It's got, I'll get a whole number way out. Just 87. You have to move it slow. Move the loop slow. Find the center of the target, move it slow. Actually, you're touching it. <laughs> Lift it up a little bit. Yeah, so you're walking on the 40s now. Yep. Wow, nice. That's sweet that's or what? Sweet. That's a shankle. That is sweet. Yeah, that's the kind of fuse that I found goes to one of those. Nice. They're in here. They're here. Man. Is that so? That one didn't, didn't blow up then. Huh? That one didn't explode. No, it's it's ready to. It's live. It's live. <laughs> it's live. Live from. We won't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, nah, just a little squeaker noise. There's a nice high squeak right there. It's reading the low 80s. Not sure what that could be. Yeah, let's go and check it out. It's a uh, a scabbard throat. It's like a sword. Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, Maybe the rest of it's in here. Nice. Nice. What do you got? Nice. What do you have? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, okay. I got a high reading of 78. You can see it right there. It's a can. Huh? I could see it from 20 feet away. All right. Hey. So from 20 feet away, man. You find the safe room and I find the can top. All right. Another nice squeak right here. Another little pocket in the rocks. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Let's go under and see if we can see it. Oh, I saw those threads and I thought for sure there's a fuse there. That's a piece of junk though. That's definitely post-Civil War. Hmm. Maybe in the next one. I hit the, the bucket ball. Oh man! 
six musket balls. Really? <laughs> right in one little hole. Oh, that's cool. I found one more over there, but I kept checking this area. Nice. Got six of them in one hole. This could be case shot. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Because I found, uh, you know, these exploded shells. It's probably case shot. You know, it would be inside of a cannonball. Still cool. Oh, absolutely. I, I like love it. it, man. Awesome, dude. Here's a cool little hatch of polywogs. Look at those bad boys. Isn't that neat? Yeah, those aren't polywogs. Yeah, those are fish of some kind. What kind is it, you Copperhead. Is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know, he's a rattlesnake. With a little bit of coral snake mixed in, probably. <laughs> it's a black snake. Check out this giant kettle I just found. Grab it. Isn't that cool? Look at that bad boy. Isn't that neat? Man, if just a little bit of shape, I'd keep it. It's an oldie too, isn't it? I like it. Oh well. I'm gonna have to leave it here, I guess. Can't carry that thing out. Yeah, I just dug a nice plate. It's a US box plate. Got some carving on the back. I can't tell what that is. Kind of neat though, huh? First plate of the year. Excellent. Dug it right there. Nice. Here's an old rotten possum. That thing's hideous. Oh my gosh. Stinks. Woo -wee. We're just digging downstream from that thing too. Oh my god, I gotta go. This far, only halfway, right? Almost halfway. <sighs> These are my finds for the day. I got them all cleaned up, more or less. See a bunch of homemade sinkers here. I got a couple pocket knives. This is mother of pearl. See, it's white. Now, this is the uh, scabbard throat, so like a sword or saber bayonet, I guess. I'm not sure which. This is the U.S. plate that I found. It's actually a cartridge box plate, but if you look on the back, it's been carved on. Right here, there's a letter G. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I have no idea. If you have any ideas, let me know. Found some bullets and some bullet sinkers. Here's an interesting little round ball. You can see they carved a, a groove all the way around it. I'm, I'm assuming that was to tie a string to it to make a sinker out of it. And here's the fuse. This goes to this shell right here, or this kind of shell, which is a shinkle. This has already been disarmed, so we don't have to worry about that. I drilled it and flushed it. If you look at the top of this fuse, this thing was fired, and it hit something hard like a rock face. You saw the rocks in the video that I shot, but it didn't go off. And it turned up pretty nice. This is actually a variant that I don't have in my collection, so I'm happy I found that. So all in all, it was a great day. I don't have Steve's stuff in here. Um, he's supposed to send me a picture, and if he does, I'll go ahead and post it up. But I'm very happy with this day's find, and uh, I'm looking forward to going back to that spot again sometime. This is a cool little bullet sinker here. You can actually see the rings on it still, right here, the three rings for the mini ball. And a lot of times on these homemade sinkers, if you turn them over and they're hollow and they have a little cone shape on the bottom like that, you can uh, figure they might have been made out of bullets. This one definitely was because the rings are on it. That one I'm not so sure about. And it seems like there's too much lead there for a bullet, so at least a 58. This seems about the right size for 58. And you see there is a little bit of a divot there. 
What they did here is they took a knife and they cut it so they could lay the string in there and then just close it back up again like a modern day split shot. So there's a few different ways that they could tie bullets on. The same way here, you can see where they split it here with a knife. That's a bullet. There's another Civil War bullet. Don't see any way to attach it. So this might actually just be a fired one. Kind of like this one. This is just a fired bullet. That has a hole there, and I would assume it's going to have a hole in the bottom, so they probably drilled a hole down through the middle of it, and they would run the string down through it. So, yeah, it was a good day. I'm happy with it. Hopefully we'll find some more. This is shell number six for the season. It's really early. I've only been out a few times, so shaping up to be a good year. And I hope to catch it all on video for you.